in fairness, right, and it, it's a funny one, I'm not too sure what horse it was, to be fair, right? And I was trying to be thinking over the last couple of days, and uh, we done a video call. We were five and a half hours yeah. on a video call. Five and a half hours? So if I hadn't got a horse after that, I'd never have spoke to him again. <laughs> <laughs> he hit his work cut out, didn't he? <laughs> he earned his keep that day. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of In The Box Seats and we're recording today the very first day after the Whirlpool Gold Cup race meeting because we've got a very special guest that's joining us and because his time is short we've uh, altered our plans because we want to hear a bit of his story and uh, but before I introduce our very special guest I'd like to talk to Andrew Harrison and greet him and welcome him. How are you, Andy? Hello, well. It was a good day at the Gold Cup yesterday. A, a long day, but a good day. Wow, well, it, it was good, good racing, yeah. Good racing. So we're all a little bit exhausted today. Yeah, as long as you made a few pounds, it's cool. Right? Absolutely. Okay, so uh, that's Andrew Harrison is with us. And uh, it gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, the main man from the Poets' Corner Syndicate. His name's Michael Moroni. You would have seen yesterday. He owns uh, Pray for Rain with his partners. Uh, trained by Carl Hewitson and uh, he won the lucky last race and Michael's been a lover of South African racing, a lover of racing, uh, a good friend of ours digitally because we've never had the privilege of meeting him but now we do have the privilege of meeting him. Michael, a warm welcome to you to our podcast and a warm welcome to South Africa. Thanks Les and I thank very much for the opportunity of being invited as a guest. Let us, let me ask you, it's the first time you've come to South Africa, is that true? Correct, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was even a big thing for me in getting onto the plane, to be honest with you lads. Um, you like me, I hate flying. Yeah, I hate flying, hate it. Um, <clears throat> it was only the Friday I bought my ticket. Friday. Oh, really? We booked and paid for the ticket and it was only on Friday and I was still going, I even actually got insurance on the ticket in case I'd pull out. Okay, so yeah. it was that, uh, it's that bad that you hate it? It was that okay. intense, yeah. And, um, well, look, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> did, 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 did Carl actually force you to come or did he? Must um, have given you some sort of confidence. He did. Yeah. He did. Um, in fairness to Carol, look, uh, yourself and Carol are like that. Yeah. Um, we're friends. And that means a lot to me to be for more, more than trainers and whatever. And um, A couple of days coming up leading it, and we were kind of tossing about what race we'd go for and bits and pieces. And he said, Mike, just come. Sure, that's... He, 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 you know, he, he was after saying he was after putting on a couple of kilos on the horse. Horse was jumping out of his skin. And he's, he's come, so I said, well, look, when your trainer tells you to come... You he, come, he, yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah. He, he, he had a... He had a sneaky feeling. Sure. Did you listen? Because I didn't. Talk. I did listen, I did I listen. Heard heard it, it. Well, I well, we told everybody on the TV the whole story. Well, I was on the TV, but you bloody wind bang. So, okay, so South Africa first trip, that's fantastic. Now, because we're doing today's podcast, ladies and gentlemen, a little differently. I'm going to step out of the equation just now, and we're going to put Carl Hewitson into the hot seat, and Carl, Andrew, and, and Mike are going to have a chin wag. Um, but before I go, there's two questions I want to ask you. The first one is, did you start your racing interest in Ireland or, or was it anywhere else? But how did you get involved in racing and was it always in Ireland? Yeah, so um, I did have, I have horses in Ireland, still have horses in Ireland. Um, years ago, my, my dad used to train greyhounds okay. for greyhound racing and whatever. And um, my uncle, Bunny, used to have pointer pointers. And um, <clears throat> I suppose that's what got me into right. racing, yeah. to be fair. And um, first horse I had, to be honest, was called Shanavelli. And he was like a donkey, useless. But then you get to do come out and going, it's, it's, it happens, and, and we all know, to be fair, probably 90% of horses aren't good enough to win a race. You know, there, yeah. there are so many horses out there, and, and, and it's an yeah. achievement. And for me, to have a winner. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so I was asked to get involved in another syndicate and it was starting out and uh, we had her with Willie Mullins and we bought her of France and Impudent was her name and uh, I think it was seven, she won first and Willie was putting her away for Shelton. She was going for the mayor's race in Shelton. 
and she got a slight injury, blah blah blah, and whatever, and it it didn't it didn't work out. Didn't you know what I mean? But, yeah. but you know, and you're always going, you know, and I and I, at the time I swore I said I'll never go to Cheltenham until ever run him. <laughs> you know, also over and that side, Cheltenham is the pinnacle. You yes, know, yes. Um, where in Ireland for me, Galway is the pinnacle. Um, Galway racing starting today. Today's Monday, isn't it? Yeah, Monday, Monday, yes, yeah. 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 Racing starting in Galway today. Okay. That's why I'm going back tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> so I usually take. It's, it's it's a known fact. Uh, at, at home, I take Galway race week off. I go to seven days racing. No, before I used to do the seven days, and you go a good seven days, you know. <laughs> As they say, you, you, you partied for the seven days. Now, last year, I think it was the first year you done five, because we're, we're all getting a bit older and getting, getting a bit, getting older. A bit shook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it, look, it is what it is, and that's where we're, we're, we're shooting back to. Um, all the boys are, will, will, be, will be waiting and will be enjoying, enjoying the, that season, you know what I mean, for us. So, you so we still have horses with Willie? No, don't have horses with Willie at the moment. Um, so then I went to with Matthew Smith, and then with Ross O'Sullivan. So um, horses are horses, you know. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the game is there. Um, I do have a couple of, uh, over there with breeding wise and stuff like that involvement in there. And um, I suppose look again. That's 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 how we, we yeah, it all started. Yeah. To be fair, yeah, yeah you know. Um, I love. Them. I, I, I love it. I yeah. love it. I, I absolutely love it. Yeah, we um, saw it. We, we saw yesterday. Yes. Yeah. We saw the passion. We saw the love. We saw that. That was. It was. But we're gonna, you guys are going to talk more about that just now. So then, South Africa. How did the racing interest get into South Africa? Because we're eternally grateful for that. Yeah. Um, I suppose. Look, we were to the particular weekend and 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 uh, in my local Hindi's Hindi's bar and. Um, we had this, we started with the Friday Night's crew and it became the Ports Corner crew, we came over, you know, and um, there was a particular person that came in, a lady came in and uh, she was looking for a job to be involved in horses. And all the lads goes, if you want to know anything about horses, go talk to Moroni, he'll sort it, <laughs> you know. And um, <clears throat> so we did, to be fair, and, and uh, that particular person came back to South Africa in, and um, this is where it came up about his uncle, hmm. and it was Uncle Natey, Nathan Cotson. Nathan okay. Cotson. Uncle Natey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I actually thought for a while, it yeah. was the person. Are you related? Yeah. It was an uncle. Like, <laughs> you know? And um, so I said, but you need to get me a CV, blah, 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 and I said, I'll get it out there for you, and whatever. And um, then there was a, the, the the lady that was looking after Nate and stuff at the time was, was, was TJ and, and they sorted out the stuff with the, uh, the CVs and stuff like that and TJ had asked me then for Nate and would I get involved in a horse? And this was in the middle of COVID now and kind of looking at it and okay. And uh, I said, look, we'll take a stab at this, you know? And I, uh, we bought him to shares into a horse called Pinch Me. So Pinch Me was my first horse. With Nathan, and um, believe it or not, Lyle rode it for my first winner Jeez. in South Africa, right? But just we're winding a small bit, so I obviously I got into the horse and said, Okay, all right. And I came back to the lads, I said, Lads, this is ah, oh, what do you have to do now? I said, I'm gonna have to find a horse up in South Africa. You'd think I'm a bloody idiot here, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, Well, what's the story? And I just I says, I threw the mats up on the table, I says, right, who's in? And every single one of the lads said, we're, we're in. in, we're in with you. And, um, you know what I mean, they, they, they got excited, you know what I mean? And, and some of the lads, to be fair, wouldn't know the head f ass of a horse. Yeah. They were in it, but it was like, when we're all in it, we were in a crew and we got involved, you know? And, um, and fair enough to the lads, fair play, they trusted me and they said, you know, not saying you know yourself. Nobody knows everything. You know sure, what I mean? Sure, we, we, yeah. In any walk of life, we learn something new every day. Absolutely. Um, so they did. They got involved in. I said, uh, pinch me one twice first, and um, 
that was even the first time, as I said, that's when I got chatting with Lyle and whatever in, in the morning. You, you broaden your horizons and we say, I started getting fellas numbers and, you know, and I started personally talking to these people. Didn't, you know what I mean? a network going. Correct. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. You know, um, and for me, I, I've, I probably have more numbers in South African in my phone than I have of Irish people. Do you know what I mean? Now, you know, and the likes of there and um, with certain people and I get on great with like with uh, Zilda out of Baker McVeigh in Ireland. You know, um, obviously Ashley out of Bloodstock SA. Yes. Um, there, there, there's loads of people, and not mentioning everybody, you know what I mean, that you get involved with and that you, you bond with. Correct. And, you and, build and, a bit of a correct, relationship, you know, friendship and with, yeah. When I actually was getting on the plane, I started texting people, I'm actually on it, there's no going back, <laughs> right? And I said to so many people, I said, I want to meet you, I want to put, you know, a face to the name for all of us. You know, and I did meet a lot of people at the races yesterday, and um, it was a special day. It certainly, uh, was, yeah, I, it certainly was. Well, the even it's here to my eye now. Even it, it, it's <clears throat> to actually come. You couldn't have wrote it. No, you could never. They don't make. Well, as I said to somebody yesterday, they don't make movies like it. I mean, you could never have written. You could never. No. But we are going to continue with the story about, well, a couple of the Poets Corners horses. Uh, um, of course, there's Gibbers Grace you heard Mike talk about. There's, of course, Pray for Rain that came yesterday. And um, I laughed, before, I, before we bring Carl into the hot seat, I laughed yesterday when I met Mike for the first time with Winnie. And we were saying it's a lovely day, which it was. It was a glorious weather. And I said, funnily enough, uh, you know, they, they predicted rain for later on. Did, yeah. uh, and he said, yes, let's pray for rain. <laughs> and it's, the rain certainly came, but the rain of, 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 of a horse nature. But we're going to break for a second, and uh, I'm going to be back with you a bit later, because now Andrew and, and, and Mike and, and Carl are going to discuss the pray for rain story, how it all worked, and, and, and just what confidence was given from Carl. And just as you heard from Mike, the script could never have been written any better. So we'll be back in a moment with trainer Carl Hurtson, not only trainer, but good friend of Mike Maroney's in the hot seat shortly. Right, we're back here. We've got rid of Len Ferner, which is a bonus. Uh, <laughs> taking over in his, the hot seat is Carl Hurtson. Carl, welcome. Thank you. How's nice the head? Uh, recovering. Recovering. Yeah. yeah. Must have been great. I can't wait for him to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky for Galway. <laughs> Carl, how did you meet? Uh, uh, it was actually through Lyle. Um, I think Lyle. I think Lyle. Didn't he ride your first winner? Yeah, Lyle rode my first winner. Uh, pinch me. Pinch yeah, me, yes, and yeah. then um, I think Mike asked Lyle. He said, "I see your father trains. Um, can you give me his number?" And then, yeah, one thing led to another, <coughs> and now Mike's full time in my yard. We've had it's pretty about two years now. About two years. I was thinking a bit more. I am. Um, I, I, to be honest, with South African racing. I, no, with me. Three and a half years, but I think yeah, I'm at least two, two, maybe a strong two. Yeah. Thinking. So, and if we've just had horses come and go all the time. We've been chopping and changing. Recently bought a couple of babies, still got to come in. And uh, we've had a good run. I mean, everything that's come to me from Mike, we've managed to win a race with. Uh, I've got one baby at the moment. I think my work could be cut out with, but uh, <laughs> otherwise the others have done all right. right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. 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 And this is obviously the first time I've met him in person. We've done lots of like Zoom calls and so on and that. You know, we stay in touch. So the first time you met him in person. Yeah. Was, yeah. Today. Yeah. So was, 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 was Saturday. Saturday. Saturday morning. You were trusting. You were trusting, bugger. Oh, <laughs> he's on the phone all the time. Don't yeah. worry. Oh, okay. in, in fairness, right? And it, it's a funny one. I'm not too sure what horse it was, to be fair, right? And I was trying to be thinking over the last couple of days, and uh, we done a video call. We were five and a half hours yeah. on a video call. Five and a half hours. So if I hadn't got a horse after that, I'd never have spoke to him again. <laughs> <laughs> he hit his work cut over the He earned his keep that day. <laughs> Tell me, Mike, how did you come up with, with uh, Poets Corner? As a, I know you Irishmen are always writing books, and uh, you've got. Yates and Joyce and a horse by the name of One Cool Port, and he won three times. He made history in Galway in 2019. And he won three times in a week, in seven days. Okay. So that's why. That? I actually saw that. I actually saw the race the other day. They had it on. I think it was on Facebook. 
and it was the last of his three wins and I think it was his easiest. Yeah. He won the easiest of his, his wins were on, on the last day. I saw that day. Three, three in a week. Yeah. And uh, getting fitter and fitter. Yeah. He's actually running today. Oh, is he? Yeah. Where, where, where is he running? <laughs> today in Galway. In Galway, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. I can't, I can't even tell you what time because I'm, I'm even now the difference I've yeah. done even, I couldn't even tell you what time it is now. <laughs> <laughs> but, but tell me, Mike, I mean, you, you, I mean, you bought Play for Rain, you, you're going through all these online sales. I mean, how do you pick them? Where do you find yeah, them? Yeah, look, I mean, to be fair, I've even already studied the next month's online. There's a lot of them um, for the breeding side of it. Right. There's a couple of two year olds, there's a couple of horses in, in, in training. Um, I've looked at it. I might have picked one or two out. <laughs> um, you don't ever let the cat out of the bag, as I say. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, um, I said to, to, to Carol before, I, I, I picked out Pray for Rain, and there was another actually two year old, the known Patima horse that was on it. I said to Carol, what do we go for? And he said, look, you kind of had an idea with the horse that you were yeah I, I, I said we're probably looking at 40 maybe 45 so he said okay we'll cap it at 45 and he ended up he managed to get it for 35 so it was a bonus okay it was a bonus yeah but uh, preferring was, was with with dennis yeah that's uh, right yeah, yeah. And, then, and, and then with yeah Stewie. yeah yeah that's yeah. right well Stewie had done all of all uh, the work with the horse leading into his first win i mean I, we bought him on the thursday um, walked him across Thursday afternoon. He was obviously pretty much midway through all his prepping and yes. work had been done. He just had a sprint up, so we got him Thursday afternoon. We sprinted him up Friday. Serena actually rode him, and uh, he said, no, he worked fantastic. He looked good. So he said, well, we'll go ahead and we'll run him. Yeah. And then we were fortunate enough, he won on the Monday as well. Yeah. You know, so he basically got a free horse. So, and then we give him his time. He's had his issues, obviously. That's why he hasn't raced so much as a five-year-old. Almost, well, he's six now, I suppose. Um, but uh, nothing you can't manage, you know, nothing you can't manage. But he manage. won a hell of a race on, on, on yesterday. I mean, yeah, he yeah. Went, went to the front and he just kept rolling. Very and gutsy. That was a hell of a run. Very gutsy. He, he's, he's in a really good space right now. He's, he's very happy. And uh, his work leading up to this has been really good. Lyle rode him on Tuesday yes. and was quite impressed with him. So that was enough for me. I was happy with him anyway, but then it was almost like a seal of approval from Lyle, you know. Yeah. And uh, I told Mike, I said, this is what's happened. So he said, well, I'll be there Saturday afternoon. So you actually got him on a plane, huh? Yeah. Oh, it was, it was touch and go. He was, for a man I never met before. Yes, I know, yeah. For a fear. Yeah. Yeah, he came out. It was all well worth it. All well worth it. Well, I tell you, for me, the highlight of the whole yesterday's racing was your interview. Oh, yeah. It was, it was brilliant. No, for me, it was watching uh, Sheldon squirm in the interview. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and I, the I, 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 I like, grabbed the microphone away. <laughs> so now I officially apologise. I obviously was out of order or whatever. Now it was in the moment. It was all good fun. Oh, yeah, it was, it was all in good humour. I, I didn't mean to insult no. or say anything no, to you. You no. know what I mean? Um, well, listen, with your accent, Marie, no one understood, understood it anyway. anyway. Yeah. What, what was nice was I said to Mike afterwards, you know, like, Normally, come the last race of the day, everybody's pretty much gone home, you know. Yes, yeah. But everybody stayed behind because anyone that cared to listen, he told them to back number four in the last race. Yeah. So they were all stood around afterwards, and you know, and the people that came up to me, uh, like we had uh, Malandi, Fanny Broncos, friends yeah. and owner, she came up, uh, Anna Mazzi, while we were all there. It was just nice, you know, because I've been friends with them for a long time, and it was nice to all stayed behind and you know congratulate us. It just worked out so well, you know, from. From last week, Lyle's wedding with Hannah. Yeah, that that was a fantastic weekend, and then it's just rolled over. Yeah, but you were you were betting into those, those big pools, those big Hong Kong pools. So, pardon? We were betting into the big Hong Kong pools. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you probably got over the odds if you backed on the tote anyway. Well, I backed on the tote. Yeah. To be fair, I know, I know. Uh, Hannah was telling me uh, on the Hong Kong market in the morning of the races. La was pretty much favourite throughout the card, false favourite. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, they had horses like Future Pearl oh, at one stage, yeah, yeah. ridiculous at like six, seven to one, you know, because it was Hong Kong betting, it was crazy. So I thought Carl had actually pinched that race. I thought Nebraska was. Yeah, yeah I thought he'd won it as well. But then yeah. when you look over his shoulder, yeah. and you see how uh, Richard was travelling. Yeah, yeah. Some horse. No, because I thought Nebraska was the right one in the state. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. They still ran a cracker. Yeah. Um, you've got horses with a lot of trainers in, in South Africa. Yeah, yeah, a couple. Um, as I said, uh, in, in 
Joe Borg. Yes. How do you find it. these people? Um, Robin Klassen. Yes. Um, She's only just started. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, good girl. In fairness to her, yeah. I, I, I have a lot of respect for her. Yeah. Um, get a couple of years under her belt, and I think she she'll be one of the top down in that in that side. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm. And. Uh, I'd always be, you know, and I'd be tossing between, you know, the way when you change centers and with your horses and whatever. And, and I used to always say, both to Carol, obviously to Robin, I need you to be friends. For me, yes. I, as I want to do it a business, but again, it's like you can swap and change. And they're, 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 and look, it's more anywhere, no more than Ireland and here. It's like not that a trainer is a threat to you. It's like, oh well, who's who's owners and who's whatever, you know. And I'm kind of going, there is no threat here. You know what I mean? You're not a who, who gets the horses or yes. whatever. Mm. So, because you can bring your horse up. In fairness, um, Robin had two horses from has two horses. We say uh, was was um, Roslyn, and she won down below there for me. And the other one, and I, I'd be always laughing with you because you, you couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> was for me, and I'm going to pronounce it correctly. It's Mahan Colling, <laughs> and you were all kind of mate and Kaelin. And, which was a good effort, to be fair, you know, and um, and Mahan Kali means good girl yeah. in Irish. And I was a couple of more, I was going to say, well, I get Mahan Book, and I really get ones now. And, and actually, only the other day, I sent on another picture, and I says, it was actually up in, in Hindi's. Yeah, you wanted me to pronounce it. And I, I sent them over, I said, yeah, I'll pronounce this now first. I won't tell you what it is, you know, and um, gave me the fault. So I'm going to, and it's available. So if anyone's listening to this, you're not taking it. <laughs> um, I must actually reserve it tomorrow. <laughs> but um, what it means is, is a one million welcomes in Irish. So I'm going to have to either buy a baby or one of my own babies will have to come up that's unnamed and we'll, we'll, we'll call it that. Okay. So but you also got involved with Safe Passage. You had a go at Safe Passage? Was it? No. Yeah. No. Um, uh, the other one. Oh, the other second one. Base. Second, second base. Second base. Second base. Second base. Second base. Uh, no, I was actually, it was online. And the bidder. And I was the underbidder, and um, it was gas because, uh, in fairness, and well done to, 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 to Robin. Um, she obviously got the horse, and we were there and afterwards, and I said, You were bidding the horse? I said, I was bidding the horse. Yeah. And she said, Oh, Mike, why did you tell me? <laughs> you, you, you could have got involved, and we were obviously driving up the price against each other, you know? Yeah. But um, no, and, and, and I'm delighted for her, and that he ran on July Day. And I think a massive fifth, you know what I mean? Yeah, a fair yeah. play to her, you know what I mean? And I do believe, and would say sometimes, given no more than pray for rain, uh, an older horse, that chance, change of yards, change of scenery, you know what I mean? And There's often a, a change of routine as yeah, well. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. A, a, a massive, you know. Um, and I know you, you don't generally have it around here, right? But in Ireland, I love to be near the beach. Yeah. Horses going into salt water with their legs. It's, it's not it's cool water great. too, yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. And obviously, more than ourselves, if you walk in and it's good, it's good for your feet. Salt yes, water is sure. good, you know what I mean. And and more than for horses, you yeah. know. And um, look, it is what it is, you know. Um, but uh, for about me, he's the he's the champ over there. <laughs> in fairness. And late time, pardon. Late time, the, the racing on late the beach. Late is on the beach. Yes, yeah. 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 Never been to be fair. Never been. I've huh? never been to the, uh, the late time above there because obviously there's only on or two meetings in the year and yes. it's certain times but obviously it's here because obviously the beach coming in and out yeah. you know um, where else do you, do you stay Mike? I live in Galway in Galway? Galway yeah Galway I'm <laughs> originally Limerick man I have to be proud to say we won the All-Ireland Hurling last Sunday um, so it was like two Sundays in a row I had my two All-Irelands yeah oh, okay I, I remember reading somewhere that the Galway what's it you play that game with the sticks Hurling that's it yeah. that was the game Hurling yeah. 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 yeah 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 um, and it was good for me as well um, on the same day because my, my, my dad had an operation only the week previous and he came, he came to the match. Dad is a big Holland fan. Oh, oh really? Yeah. He, it's a pretty no, rough game. There right? was nothing going to stop him. Oh, it's, it's, it's a game for boys. Yes, I yeah, tell you yeah. know, it, it's, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. To, to even see it. And Carol was often on to me, oh, this send game, video. Know, send yeah. video, send video, you know, actually show me, you know what I mean, yeah. what this is, you know what I mean? And it's, 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 we'll say it's a non-paying sport, you know what I mean? And um, hurling is a massive game. Yeah. It's, 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 it's up there with me with racing. Okay. 
passion is there. Um, Limerick had won, so we won actually, to be honest with you, this is our fourth year in a row. Okay. And it was only ever other, two other teams that have ever done it, it was both Cork and Kilkenny. And it was Kilkenny we beat in the final <laughs> last week. So, it was a memorable <laughs> moment for me as well with my dad there, yeah. my sister, having family there. Um, my kids were with me, yeah. even though we call it the Galwegians. But on the day, <laughs> yeah. because, and we beat Galway in the semi final. Yeah. So it, it, it was good, yeah. it, you know. And, and get back to racing. I mean, the, the Pout Syndicate, is it, is it going to grow now? Sure. <laughs> can we say, we'll, 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 of course it's going to grow. Yeah. You know, um, I love so much. You, you get the whole We, we just say, at, at the moment, with, say, with New Orleans, um, I always bought her with the intentions of going breeding. Yeah. So, um, we had Rise. She had another filly we bought on an online sale, online. actually. Yeah. I bought yeah. it for 9K. And um, <coughs> she's booked in for the, the, the num Platina. We have uh, secured a service for Fire Away with New Orleans. So, you're asking the question is the syndicate going to grow? Well, you've picked, you've got, picked really good. Got a couple of babies as well. Yeah, we have. Oh, no, we have. We have. Uh, we have. Um, we got one in the last sale yeah. and the previous sale before that. Uh, so we've two nice, a couple of nice two-year-olds coming up. Yeah. Um, so, and so the exchange rate is really. Uh, uh, a okay, big thing. I, we'll we'll pick a rule of thumb. Obviously, it fluctuates, but we say roughly is one is to twenty. Yes. Nineteen to twenty. Yeah. Yeah. So I suppose that was one of the reasons as well during COVID that why I got involved in racing. Um, and I'm only myself trying to get with the, with the RAN, we're saying, and you'll be coming on, oh, 200K. But then when you actually transfer it back, yeah. and our money, 5K. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. You yeah. know um, I'd probably, and I'm being honest here, to be fair, I probably have three horses in training here for the price of one in Ireland. Yeah, you know, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you know, um, and and that was a, a big reason for me. Yeah, um, and you can imagine if you have three, you yeah, know, what I mean, yeah. three to one, yeah. you, you know, and where where have you kept your mares? So, uh, at the moment they're with uh, Grace Stables, and so they go there, and that's where. Rise in New Orleans and a couple of Marathon. Right. Then I have another place in, um, it's Heartland. Uh, so TJ actually was the girl that got yes. me originally bought into mm -hmm. horses, we'll say. Lucretius was actually yeah. one of the babies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so they, they go there for rest periods. Okay. And, um, and in fairness, look, you, you just try and pick where you go and that I'm comfortable with and a good relationship with people and that I can trust. Yeah. Well, you've picked two, two good stallions. I think fire, to, fire yeah. away yeah. is, is definitely. Um, I think. Yeah. I think he'll definitely make yeah. it. And Dan Platino is. Oh, but you're looking for really himself. Yeah, yeah. speaks speaks at the moment, yeah. and, and you'll be there going with, 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 with New Orleans going to fire away, and I'm there going. Yeah. Carol, imagine if we get a grey cold correct fall. Yeah. What are you going to call it? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. So looking forward to like to that, and all the lads have said they're they, they to trust me. To be fair, and, and this is whatever we're racing, and you, you trust your trainer and you yeah. meet it. Now, the breeding side of things is where, not saying to where I come into, now, now that's where yeah. I do my bloodlines and whatever. Yeah. And, and I do understand a lot of people in, in, in South Africa, they're all on about the stallion. That's 80% of it is the mare. Yeah, but you're breeding commercially, so you know, if the stallion's not up to scratch. Correct. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, oh, yes, yeah. 100%. Like, um, I, I do understand with, with say, with, with um, Rise, and she's a noble tune, mm. and he, he may or may not have been as, as successful as people thought he would be, you know what I mean? And um, I think, to be fair, we've done, we done the cross, yes. done, and he's a 2020. Yeah, okay. We went through the, you know, the lines, and I was actually chatting with um, uh, Eugene Freeman, and uh, from Boland, and he just said, "Look, if you're going to Dunham, you need a strong mare." Yeah, yeah. And by God, we have a strong. Yeah, yeah she's a big girl. Yeah. She, yeah. she, she is, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it excites me to be fair. Yeah. She didn't even cover it, and I'm saying, "What's the fall going to be? Come on, you know <laughs> what I mean?" So, um, 
And again, when you get into breeding, you see, obviously, it's a, it's a long-term project. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? You're covering, you're waiting, we'd say, just short yeah. 12 months. Then you're in another 12 months again before it's only a year. Then yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before you go. And the lucky thing about it, yes, look, we'll, we'll, we'll take horses to the sales, you know? And, um, but at the same time, we don't have to sell. Why? Because we'll race. Yes, racing, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We'll race, you know what I mean? If, if it's not... If yeah. it's not correct for us, and Carol and myself will sit down and we'll make the decision jointly together. And that's one thing where I love about that man. We talk. We talk. We pick the races together. Yeah. We pick our jocks together. We make a plan. Yeah. And that's how we get on. Yeah, so that's good. I think we, we I mean, uh, we're going on a bit. Probably. Yeah, Thank you right. very much, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Carl, I'll see you It's been a time. pleasure. Yeah, thank you very much thank for coming you. on. Yeah. Great stuff. And we'll we'll get the bull headed bloke back on wherever he is. But uh, thank you, Mike, for coming on. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I hope you get on the plane again soon. Well, I, I have, have to, to make a decision. I hope to get he, on. He, he wants me to go home already. <laughs> 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 we actually just come back on that. Um, so obviously, I'm, 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 I'm staying with Carol. Yeah. And. As I said, I arrived Saturday morning. No, yeah. Saturday afternoon. Saturday, yeah, Saturday, Saturday evening, yeah. And, and then, like, Sunday morning, I, I, I woke here. And my cycle, to be fair, because of all about South Africa, because, you see, at the minute, it's an hour difference. And I've, the, the time changed in, there was a two-hour. Yeah. And, and I'd be there in the mornings, and my phone would be beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and it'd be WhatsApps. Because I'd be constantly on him, I want videos of me horses. I want them. I want them. You better send them out. Just, doesn't give up. Doesn't get them. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and we'll be there, you know, and so even now, I wake at four, five o'clock every morning. No, obviously up for work anyway at that time. And uh, it's, it's Sunday morning. It's, it's, it's a Sunday morning. I was up, got up, and walking, I just started walking. Walking horses, doing boxes. I, I just walked down. So, uh, sorry, my <laughs> Went into the office. The left box walker. Here we go. But I, I wanted to because, again, for me to be a part of it, go in there and, excuse me, say, shoveling dirt. <laughs> Watching me figures here. <laughs> you know, and you go in and you're, you're looking, and Carol told me, go in, and, which we'd know anyway, and <coughs> he says, just put your nose to his nose. Let yeah. him smell you. Yeah. yeah and, and we were inside there, and, you first. And, and, and the grooms were there. They were looking at me, and, and fair enough, some of my... He probably couldn't even understand me, never mind the grooms. And, and they're just looking, and they go, and uh, he says, uh, oh, are shock. you owner? Owner? And I goes, yeah, and then he goes, Rosalind, what was the nice? He started going, and he yeah. says, magic hat trick. You've gone through each particular one. Yeah. Sure. I yeah. said, yeah, I'm going to have to bloody yard. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, Mike. Thank you very much for, for coming on the show. It's been a pleasure. Uh, and all the best, and yeah, all the best at Galway. Yeah, two biggest owners in the yard, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, good luck for Galway, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. We'll yeah. Be, Thank you, we'll and so we'll, we'll, yeah. we'll get the opportunity to meet again. Yes, hopefully. As I've done it once, we'll, we'll, we'll do it again. Yeah. So we will cut for this, and then we'll get uh, Warren back onto the show, and uh, we'll speak about yesterday's racing. Uh, before we do go, um, you're a good Irishman, uh, Michael Clare. Do you remember Michael Clare? He, write, he writes for the Irish Field. Yeah. Yeah. He's just written a book. This is his new book, Stitched Up. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I haven't read it, not yet. But uh, another good Irishman. You all write books and poetry and yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Good, Mike. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. We'll get Warren back on show. Two gentlemen uh, that know their horses and, and have an interesting story to tell. Um, Carl Hurtson, and you've heard it from his son Lyon in many interviews, that he knows his horses, he knows how to train race horses, and the results are there for the small competitive yard that he has. So well done to him. It's been a huge week for Carl. I think he's going to sleep for a week when uh, Mike goes home. Well, I think he's, he's quite looking forward to Mike going home. <laughs> <laughs> and, and your Irish hat, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Look at we that, should invite huh? him from more often. We, we had a fight over the hat and the... And the no, you got the socks. I got the socks. I'm a big socks fan. But uh, anyway, I'm going to have to wrestle you for the... We're definitely splitting that whiskey. We're definitely the whiskey. We're splitting the whiskey. But anyway, you can take some whiskey home in your, in your jar. A hot toddy. Hot toddy. But uh, wonderful, lovely story. 
And um, yeah, yesterday's interview, he got uh, over passionate and over excited, but that's fine. I mean, that's that's what racing is all about, you know. I, I mean, thought you actually made the day. Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah, it was, it was a good, it was a good ending. Yeah. I, I would have flag, the Irish flag was wonderful too. The Irish flag. I didn't you see that say, part. Well, Lyle had the Irish flag. It really was wonderful. But anyway, we need to just talk about two things. You've spoken about. Uh, uh, Michael Clow's book. We've got to talk about some other things as well. Soccer betting, uh, and of course, all the lovely soccer bets. Soccer six, soccer ten, score six, score ten. There's so many different soccer bets out there. Uh, get onto Tab Gold, and you can have a bet there. Fantastic, and, and nice to see that the punters are still winning. But uh, we're going to talk about the Equus. But before we talk about Equus, let's quickly reflect on yesterday's results because I thought it was a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal day's racing. The first race was won by Outlaw King. We'll just skip over it. Um, Outlaw King for Dean Kanamea, Keegan Demana. Good horse, good win. Nice to see him bounce back to best. Yeah, I think uh, it had been a bit disappointing in his previous races, but yeah, he came, he came well on the day. And then a uh, second race, which was the debutante, Group 2, was won by Calamaretta. Gutsy win. Captain's Christie was second. Uh, Calamaretta for the Crawford Rick Stable and uh, Captain's Christie for Mark Dixon. Good finish. Uh, stiff for the second horse, uh, but uh, you know. Yeah, it would have been. No, well, it would have been. I was shouting for for Cole. Is Cole, Cole Dickens? Yeah, yeah, he would have been a yeah. first group one. Salt of the earth boy. Yeah, yeah. So but a good race. Well done to them. Third race was the listed event to the World Pool Twitter handicap. How were those pools yesterday? Huge. Yeah, huge pools. Huge, fantastic. Yeah. Well, I hope, I hope, yeah, well, I hope for us that it, that, that, that paid off, you know. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, I'm sure it mm -hmm. certainly did. But the third race was won by Meridius, beating Battle Force, and Meridius uh, was for the Tony Peters stable. Craig Zaki was the pilot. Good win. I thought Meridius let down beautifully and put in a good finish. Yeah, he did. He did. I was just a Tony Peter. I think he should shave his beard a little bit closer. <laughs> he needs to stand a bit closer to the, to the razor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the fourth race was the riding hide to get a gold brace at the Group 2 event. Bless My Stars beating Sarki. Sarki, a good horse, and ran an excellent race right. in the second. Oh, Bless, Bless My, my Stars, stars I mean, she, she was, yeah, she's way out at the weights, and yeah. so it was a good win. I mean, yeah, was, there were a yeah. couple of people that said in the lead up to the Hollywood Bets Derby in July that maybe she was a bit of a no-hoper. But, you know, it's, it's such a prestigious race, it's such a good race, and she did an outstanding job in the Hollywood yeah. Bets Derby yeah. in July, and it was good to see her win yesterday. Fifth race was the uh, World Pool Moment of the Day Champion Stakes, a Group 1 event. Uh, that went the way of Sandringham Summit. Now, Sandringham Summit, I believe, has been awarded the prize for the world for the whirlpool moment of the day. Um, yeah, well deserved. Well deserved. Yeah. What a draw fifteen or the deepest draw yeah. of all, and still one like that. Yeah. Good horse. Yeah, I've seen I've seen good horses get beaten. I saw National Emblem get in, in that same race get beaten from from the outside draw. Yes. So it, it has to be done, and. and it was a good field. Yeah, and, and wonderful to talk to David Neven Hazen, his first Group 1 winner. Yeah. Uh, he's had Group 2s, but never a Group 1. Yeah. It was great for him. Yeah. Okay, the sixth race, which was the Mercury Sprint. Issy Vungu Vungu and Sir J and Thunderstruck in a Titanic uh, du uh, tussle, the three of them. But Issy Vungu Vungu now... Is that, was an that, that was an impressive win. Came right yeah, back at he the looked game. dead and buried yeah. two furlongs yeah, out. Came right back. And his penultimate start, he won the Group 1 computer form. This, yeah. he won the Group 1 Mercury. And it went in between that. Yeah, so, Outstanding. Yeah, so Equus Award. We're in the. Yeah, and I chat, we, we were chatting to Bart Vanders, who we had on yeah. the podcast last week. They were saying, well, a horse like that could, could shape in Hong Kong. Yeah, no, he was very. Uh, after the races, he said, no, we must send him to Hong Kong because he says, they've only got one good sprinter there. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he says, this one will do well. The seventh race was the World Pool Gold Cup, a group three over 3,200 metres. Future Pearl, outstanding win. And, and ever since uh, Sean Terry's uh, sent this horse over distance, uh, just a different animal. Yeah, and for a three year old to win like that, it was pretty good going. Adam McGum, who we've had Stephen Chetty on many a podcast, uh, I thought a huge run in second. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the eighth race was the um, Hong Kong Jockey Club Champions Cup, a Group 1 event, Princess Keller. That was a star-studded field. See it again, ran a great race. Uh, a day of the King in third, but Princess Keller, yeah. my oh my. She's yeah. won a Group 1, I mean for Equus, you're talking about Equus. Well, we may as well, as we're going through the results, talk about the Equus as, as well. Uh, like Captain's Ransom, won a Group 1 over 1,000, won a Group 1 over 1,600, won a Group 1 over 1,800. Taking I mean, on the males, yeah. So correct, she surely should yeah. be, well... She yeah. must be pretty, it must be... Odds on favourite. Well, I don't know about odds on, but, but pretty up there, up there up as well. There, I, yeah. Think, yeah. I thought it was a good race. I was watching with, with, with Dave Thistleton, uh, and I saw 
see it again was so far back. You know, coming around to the 600, I said to Princess Color that she'll outsprint them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely outstanding. Okay, uh, the ninth race is the uh, Douglas White Stakes. Uh, it was a Group One event. How nice to have Dougie White in town. I mean, that was just yeah, wonderful. Yeah. No, it's good. We haven't seen him on the race course for, well, locally for yes. a long time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And he's doing so well in Hong Kong. I mean, yeah. he's, he's a legend there. Absolutely. How yeah. many uh, ch championships did he win? Just 13. 13. Top rider, one of the best we've seen. Yeah, and some, <laughs> some bloke told me on the race course that he wasn't a very good jockey. Well, maybe he missed a few. I maybe think he, he missed, missed a few. few so he missed something. He no. missed a few seasons. But uh, that was won by Bavarian Beauty beating Egyptian Mal. And distant winter. Egyptian Ma ran a very good race for Hood Larkas and Richard Farif finished off the race beautifully. But Bavarian Beauty, we were talking about David Neiman Hayes and having his first Group 1 winner as a trainer. Well, Bavarian Beauty is uh, ridden by Craig Zaki, who's no stranger to Group 1s, uh, and uh, Tony Peter, the trainer, young trainer, and uh, he had his first Group 1 winner, uh, as did uh, Neiman Hayes, and so that was nice for them. Yeah, it was. Okay, yeah, let's move on to the 10th race. Uh, which was the uh, Long Jeans Hong Kong International Racing in December. I'm going to handicap. Well, we all know who won yeah, that. I know that yeah. uh, pray for rain. It was just a wonderful end to the season. Uh, Carl, Carl was saying that uh, all Lyle's horses were, were favoured on the day in the Hong Kong tote. Uh, and he came up lucky in the last. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, False so favourites. And then. Uh, yeah, the Equus Awards, so that's, uh, and then the KZN Racing Awards and all the provinces have the awards and it's just going to be outstanding to see the results. You're going to Equus? Uh, no, 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 I won't be going to, uh, to Equus this year, um, but it's going to certainly be a, a wonderful event of that, um, we're very sure of. But that's a wrap, I think nothing else to add, we've uh, had yeah, a good podcast. It's been a good long one. We're going, to, we're going to wrestle over that bottle of Irish whiskey now, no we're not, we're going to share, because it's scary. I don't know, it's we can club it this morning. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know about that. It says power is Irish whiskey. By the time you finish that bottle, you become very powerless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a wrap from Andrew and I. It is the last podcast of this racing season. Uh, we're recording nice and early, and uh, it's just been a wonderful, wonderful season. Uh, we're all uh, hopefully going to just take a deep breath, take a day or two off. Although you've just come from the bush. You're not going to the bush again. You're on suspension. But uh, be safe. Be um, safe and thank you for all your continued support and we'll see you we race on wednesday the 2nd of august that will be our first case meeting for the new season we had hollywood bets uh, uh, gravel on wednesday and we look forward to seeing you there from the entire team punt well stay safe and as always we'll see you in the number one box Thank you very much for watching this week's edition of In the Box Seat Podcast right up until the very end. If you happen to miss last week's podcast, click right here to be able to enjoy last week's podcast. And already for next week, we have a fantastic guest lined up. Don't miss out on another fantastic show that's coming your way.